contestants Skyping from home. They're all trying to win big money by predicting what America is thinking. And now, it's about to get even harder. These next questions have three possible answers. And this question is worth $400. Possible answers are TV, cell phone, or mirror. The question is, what did mothers say their teenage girls spend too much time staring at? Is it the TV, the cell phone, or the mirror? They're writing down their answers. We have a three-way tie right now for $300. They have their answers down. Marcus, we'll start with you. TV, cell phone, or mirror? Teenage girls end up spending too much time staring at, because of text messaging, is cell phone. L-O-L-O-M-G! <laughs> it's the cell phone. Maria, what are your thoughts? Okay, well, on your cell phone, you have a TV. You can, you can get a mirror app. So therefore, my answer is cell phone. I agree. It's the one device to rule them all. Christina, do you agree with everybody else here? Well, I have three daughters. Two of them are teenagers. And I know this one. When they get punished, I don't take away the mirror. I take away their cell phone. Give me that phone. You're in timeout. The correct answer with 66% of the vote for $400. It's the old cell phone. Hang it up. Still on a three-way tie. Everybody has $700, but now we're raising the stakes yet again. This next question is worth $500. And the three possible answers are badminton, curling, or trampoline. The question is, athletes said which sport is so ridiculous it should be banned from the Olympics. A doping scandal in any of these sports would be hilarious. <laughs> Christina, we will start with you. What do you think is the most ridiculous sport? I, I don't know what badminton is. Um, curling, I think it's probably weight. But I've heard a lot lately about trampolining, so I'm gonna go with trampoline as just a guess. Curling, by the way, involves the giant disc, the brooms, and a lot of shame. Maria, what do you think? I just can't imagine athletes, strong athletes wanting to uh, support badminton. Teeny tiny amazing. rackets and a little shuttlecock and a little net. It's like mini tennis. All right, Marcus, what do you think? Trampoline is like a child's toy to me, so I'm going with trampoline. All right, so Marcus agrees with Christina on trampoline. Maria says badminton. <laughs> this is going to break up the three-way tie right here for $500 with 54% of the vote. The answer is trampoline. <laughs> Marcus and Christina tied for first place now with $1,200 each. Maria just behind with $700. It's time for the final question of the round. This thing is worth $1,500. However, because it is the final question, the contestant with the least amount of money on the other side of this answer will be eliminated. The three possible answers are 30s, 40s, or 50s. The question is, men on dating sites said that women in which age group lie the most about their age? As a lifelong Cougar Life member, I am mortified to think that any of them are lying about their age. <laughs> they better be up there. Maria. You need this to stay in the game. It's worth fifteen hundred bucks. You're currently trailing right now with seven hundred dollars. What did you say? I'm in my forties. I I don't lie. I don't know any of my friends in their forties that have lied. Thirties don't need to lie. I'm gonna go with fifty. We're lying about the old fifties. Marcus, what do you think? Thirties is still young enough to not lie about. Uh, 50s, you're getting to the point where, like, yeah, you can't really cover it up when you start getting up there, so I'm gonna go with 40s. Yeah. Plus that shuffleboard profile pick, that's a bit of a tell, right? It's Christina, you're the final say here, what do you think? When I hit 30, it was really rough for me. I kept on saying I was 27 with three years experience. I've gotta go with 30. Well, I gotta tell you, very, very close poll here. In fact, there's only a 4% difference between the top two answers. Oh, no, no, no. The correct answer, with 44% of the vote, it's the 30s. Congrats to Christina. She makes $1,500. Marcus in second place with 1200 Maria, I'm so sorry. I can't tell you a lie here, sweetheart. You have been eliminated. 
Marcus and Christina, they are moving on. The battle of the broadband continues. And let's ask America returns.